have uh, Carlos L's Rocky slash Dr. Yeah. Fauci expand <laughs> on his feelings and thoughts <laughs> on going full Rand Paul neighbor uh-huh. on Rand Paul. Somebody did some fireworks in that room yesterday. <laughs> that was fantastic. What? A, oh, and then, oh, wait a minute. Oops, Uh-oh. I forgot. I left the door oh, open. Okay. Travis, might you bring the puppy back upstairs? I, hi, Steve Austin. You know, there are, is anyone else raising a toddler? Is it just me? He's mostly sweet as pie all day oh, long. Oh, oh, uh, uh. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh dear. Very excited. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. All right. You guys talk amongst yourselves. Mommy's gonna. Mommy will do it. <laughs> since Travis won't okay. do it. All right. Just no, take him by the collar and just gently put him back up in the kitchen and close the door. Okay, mommy. He's I've got a battering ram. Hi, crazy puppy dog. Oh, now you're riling him up some more. Yeah. That. Take him by the collar like a dog. Like you have a dog. Okay. Good job. Okay. All right. Oh. Just bring him back up. Close the door. He's either gotten a battering ram, Sean. These to- uh-huh. toddlers are inventive. That's what they I are. Yes. Have you covered all the uh, the the electric outlets? Oh no, that's he's probably what he's that gonna, out that's next. what he's going to do next. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yes, he's a creative little bugger. Uh-huh. He's just figuring out new and magical things every single day. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so mostly sweet as pie, and then in the evenings he becomes a hell beast. I see. Okay. Yes, he gets a little whipped up. Poor, yeah, this is why, why uh, Jamie has some respite right now, because Jamie's like, oh, for the love of God. How'd it go, Travis? I'll, I'll get yelled at when he destroys the rest of the house. Did you put him in the kitchen? I took him upstairs. No, the put door. him in the kitchen. Oh, my God. That's not what you said. You no, said I, no hurry. You said, There's going to be you, pee. Go put him in the kitchen and close both of the doors. You did say put him upstairs and close the door. In the kitchen. Oh, I've explained the kitchen plan to everybody. He's locked in the kitchen. All the rugs are up. Oh, my God. Okay, so he destroyed half the plants in my yard yesterday. Well, that was totally just... He's eating avocados, so he has uh, uh, diarrhea. And uh-huh. then what else? Oh, he came running in the dog door. So he gets the dog door, Sean. Uh-huh. Came running in the dog door two nights ago and then peed on... the jumped up on the kitchen couch and then peed mm-hmm. on the couch. Okay, so that was... But that was two days ago. This is... There's been nothing that since then. There's Except been no accidents. Probably accident. right now. There's right been, this second. Yes, because Travis... Oh. Doesn't understand fucking closing a puppy in a place okay good morning hi is every single person that worked with donald trump a traitor yes. i just want to know one thing this yes. morning does anyone that worked with him work actually for the united states of america no. or no no okay thank god it is man meat wednesday and we have glenn Kirshner and malcolm nance yes and bob seska and carlos ells rocky a lot of men 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 uh-huh men. you got way more than two and a half men here <laughs> yes, exactly mm-hmm. Okay, um, yes, I don't, I just, it does strike me, <laughs> almost. Have we ever seen this? None of them work for the United States. They are all traitors. Paul, right? Michael Flynn, mm-hmm. Paul Manafort, what's his name? Barack now. Well, Tra- has been, <laughs> whoever had this many people arrested. That yeah. have, Okay. And, and, and yes. the, the Barrack thing is about uh, UAE and Saudi Arabia, correct? Yes. Yeah. And So it looks like Trump... Well, of the many ways he was cheating in 2016, he right. was also cheating with UAE. Right. They were also helping him, and along with Russia. Apparently, Flynn was on the inauguration stage in 2017 texting about a deal with UAE. Right. Right. That's what my favorite was the text. Wait, where's the text? Oh, following. So he got all this, you know, pro UAE stuff into Trump's campaign yeah, speeches. Huh? Following one appearance, Barack emailed his, I don't know, co-conspirator, other guy. Is it Barrick? I think it's Barrick. Barrick. Mommy needs to get you a cone, Jamie. I don't know what's going on, but stop biting your tail. Okay, there's a lot of parenting going on, Sean. It's going to be. Okay. Anyway, so he emails his co-conspirator and says, I nailed it for the home team. Referring not to the United States, but to the UAE. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever seen a, such a bunch of grifting traitors to the United States? It is, uh, okay. Yes, Tom Barack, former advisor to Trump, was charged yesterday with illegal foreign lobbying on behalf of the United Arab Emirates for what uh, federal prosecutors described as an effort to influence the foreign policy positions of both the Trump campaign and subsequent incoming administration. Barack is charged with a seven-count indictment acting as an agent of the UAE. He is also charged with obstruction of justice and making false statements to uh, federal enforcement agents because they all lie. 
when, to the FBI, because, as you do when you're completely in, in, uh, innocent, right? When you say Barack, it sounds like Obama. I, I think know. it's pronounced Barack. I have a feel like, didn't Right Wing World get a little, like, all a titter yesterday? Oh, oh Barack, finally! Right, all the QAnons are like, he's been around. Oh, wait, what? It's Barack. Right, Tom Barrick. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> I just, I, I mean, you know, Rachel Maddow, as she does, of mm -hmm. course, brilliantly just laid it all out. But yeah. it is, we just can't get numb to these extraordinary times we live in. That this is, I, almost everyone in his inner circle has been arrested. Mm -hmm. Okay, by the way, TikTok Jared and TikTok Trump. What is he now? He was the New York individual one. He is the candidate in this indictment, mm -hmm. right? It's, okay. I. It's insane. Okay, I need to. What do you need to do? I was going to say something about oh. Rand Paul's neighbor and violence, but I will not. Why not? Say that. It's but time Rand for Paul, us to get mean to. Just, really? Yes. Really? Yes. Rand Paul tells to Hannity he's sending a letter to the DOJ asking for a criminal referral in to Fauci. Yeah. Are you kidding me? This has gotten to, uh, no wonder Fauci was so angry and just ripped him a new one yesterday. This has gotten to insane levels. Does Rand Paul like getting humiliated? I, I guess so. Is he a cuck? I guess so. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> All right, let's, why not? Let's start with the five here. Dr. Fauci, knowing that it is a crime to lie to Congress, oh, do you up. wish to retract your statement of May 11th where you claimed that the NIH never funded gain-of-function research in Wuhan? Senator Paul, I have never lied before the Congress, and I do not retract that statement. Senator Paul. Oh, my God. OK, so this is where he said, you frankly do not know what you are right. talking yeah. about and then ended with uh, this. Senator Paul, you do not know what you are talking about, quite frankly. And I want to say that officially. Oh, I can hear you again. do not know what you are talking about. Senator Paul, we're look, saying they are gain of function yeah, viruses because they were they're animal not. viruses that became more transmissible in human and you funded it and you, you admit the truth and you implying Senator Paul, your time has expired and I will allow witnesses right. who come before this committee to respond. And, and you are implying that what we did was responsible for the deaths of individual. I totally resent that. Have and if anybody and is lying been. here, Senator, it is you. Thank you. I mean, this is OK. Uh, he said, if the point you're making is that the grant that was funded as a sub award created SARS cov 2, is that where you're going? Right. And then he said the thing you were saying mm -hmm. you're responsible for the deaths. I mean, this is insane that they're focusing on the origin as if Dr. Fauci created this. on. Right. I, Okay. I, I do have to admit I, on, on purpose, yeah, right? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. I I need to learn more about what gain of function right. stuff it's, is. It's and, the issue of whether the National Institutes of Health funded gain of function research, which they do all over the world, right. obviously, which aims to make viruses more infectious and the, studying them, obviously, um, in the Wuhan Institute of Virology, um. So, uh, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, he said, first of all, I, after he said, I've never lied to Congress, he said the research in question was what judged by qualified staff up and down the chain as not being gain of function. So, you know, we're arguing over words here, trying to, and none of it is Dr. Fauci's fault. Like, this, it's just he's taking up Trump's stupid thing of making him a, a punching bag, mm -hmm. yes. right? Yeah. Because now here we are in, I don't know, what wave is this we're in, this which is, we are clearly in. They're saying the fourth wave. It feels like the 27th. Oh, my God. Yeah, Delta variant now accounting for more than 83% of new COVID cases. Mm -hmm. The rise in Delta, don't you feel like you're having an acid flashback? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The same doctors are saying the same things and started saying, like, you don't understand how fast this is going to multiply. Mm -hmm. And here we are. Yeah. Uh, the rise in Delta variants can, coincides with a large increase in COVID cases, hospitalizations, and deaths nationwide in the U.S., uh, the surge in cases involving the hypertransmissible variant was not unexpected. Such infections have been predicted to double every two weeks. We are going to, oh God, Dr. Hotez, we are going to see pediatric COVID. I think part of a steep uh, acceleration of the Delta variant is going to sweep kids along with it. Emergency use of uh, vaccines for children may not be available till midwinter. Um, again, didn't I say this? We're heading into disaster in the fall. Yeah. Yes, Chris, and go ahead. Um, there is a little bit of breaking news from the oh. New York Times. Life expectancy in the U.S. dropped one and a half years last year because of the pandemic. Thanks, Donald Trump. That's Thanks. Oh, what a stunning. lovely, what a lovely parting gift he's left us. That Isn't is that, stunning. Yeah. Isn't that nice? That's wow. Fantastic. That is really. Oh my God.
I, a, and did I mention he's a traitor and a criminal for a bunch of other things before the mass genocide? Have I touched on that yet? This I time? am a yeah. traitor. Okay. I mean, I get it that something is happening when Sean Hannity is telling people, whether it's lawsuits, civil, whether it's GOP donors, because the stock market is obviously yeah. getting shaky on this news of another, you know, I mean, we look like we're heading into other lockdowns. We're back into masking. We're, we're, oh my God. Anyway, but so, you know, something is happening between Sean Hannity saying get vaccinated. Steve Scalise finally got vaccinated mm-hmm. and said it's safe and effective. Do it. Mitch McConnell. Again, yes, yesterday. Again, yeah. yesterday. Try, it's just, it, it's, you know, they're in charge of closing the barn door after the horse is gone. The big orange traitorous horse is gone. We're still infected with Q Betty's stupidity. Yes, yes. I mean, it's just, you, you have exactly, even people that try to say the right thing, you have six other Republican idiots or Fox idiots, right? You have Tucker Carlson right before Hannity saying the opposite. You have, I don't, right. I, Steve Kalise says this, and then, you know, right away you have uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene saying it's a HIPAA violation to ask her if she's... You don't even understand what HIPAA means. It's not a HIPAA violation for a reporter to ask you if you're vaccinated. I dare say she has COVID toes. She Well, she has cloven hooves, which we discussed yesterday. <laughs> Those are... Wow. Those are something... It's like a potato with toothpicks coming out. Yeah, of it. it's not. Yeah. I don't, it's, I mean, <laughs> I don't my, know and my mom's got lovers, got janky feet, but I don't know. Those at least are not hooves. I mean, I don't have that in my. I just, I can't, I don't. Okay. So the UAE isn't just another whole. <laughs> it's all mixed in, right? It's all mixed in. They all were working for another mm-hmm. country, whether it was Russia or UAE, with all the same goal is to right. Oh, I... illegitimately install Donald Trump in office because he is the most corrupt person, obviously, we've ever, not just president. I mean, his entire presidency was obviously transactional. I mean, now there's, you know, there's obviously like Twitter rumors too about, you know, Khashoggi and what, you know, did we trade him for, I mean, you don't know. They were so transactional that it's, it, it's just insane, right? We should also and by it... the way, whatever Trump did in terms of, oh, the vaccine, it was for him. You know, it's just for him politically to look, to see if he can look good yeah. and try to win the election. He doesn't care about any, he's a sociopath. Yes. Well, I'll say, and Barrick, the way he developed all these these links to the UAE in the Middle East was through film finance, which is also what Steve Mnuchin does. Yeah. Right. So we got two entertainment guys who were taking a lot right. of money from the Middle Wilbur East. Wilbur Ross had Russian, it, it was Russian interest yeah. in his, I mean, every single one of these crooks was enriching themselves, working with foreign governments Mm -hmm. to to either enrich themselves or illegally install Donald Trump so that this, you know, corruption and grift could continue. It's just, it's sort of, it's mind-boggling. Okay. (laughs) I was like, the whole UAE subplot in terms of, I was like, oh my God, how many countries has he cheated on us with? All of them. Yeah. Right. They couldn't couldn't wait to get their hands into business deals with UAE and Saudi Arabia. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, an American tax, hey, I win, we won one for the home team. Referring to the UAE, not like what America is not the home team for this party anymore, people. They they are they they are working. Okay, Russia and the GOP is working against America's interests, whether it's on COVID or anything else. Mm -hmm. Election fraud, the, the insurrection, the big lie, you name it, right? Barbara McQuaid was on this morning and she said that. Barrick was giving copies of Trump's speeches to the UAE for them to approve and edit and rewrite. Right. And then send back. And yeah. Trump would give them with, you know, the blessings yeah. of the UAE. Right. Flynn, we're, it, working with Turkey, Manafort. It's just they all were working for themselves yeah. against the interests of the United States of America. Oh, God, I need so much man meat today. Thank God I'm going to get it. Glenn Kirshner, Malcolm Nance. Oh, Bob Seska, Carlos El Rocky. I need Carlos El Rocky. We're just to make him do the whole hour is the Fauci id. Yep. About Rand Paul. Yeah. <laughs> I know we're not supposed to say, yay, team Rand Paul's neighbor. But I'm just saying. Yes. What, you know what? Let's let's lift that moratorium. What on that. a lying douchebag. Yeah. yeah. Seriously. I mean, I okay. Tell your own stupid party to get vaccinated. I mean, these numbers could not be any clearer. Ninety nine percent of the people vac- you know, hospitalized or dying are unvaccinated. They are mostly in red areas. Mm-hmm. What is it? What are the numbers, Travis? I don't know where these are. Eighty six percent of I, I don't know. Democrats are vaccinated like 40 something, yeah. low 40 something percent of Republicans are. It is entirely 
statistically speaking, Republicans, Trump voters, red state areas that is making this. Uh, and again, Chris, I'm. Listen, I, I, I got you a bone this morning. Oh, about this thank one. you. I appreciate that. Yes. Um, this one, the headline, unvaccinated Trump supporter who spread coronavirus conspiracy theories dies of uh, COVID. Yes. OK, so I'm not right. I'm not saying yay, but I get your of some people hurry up and die. But it's the problem is they're dragging all of us down yes, with them. They are. It is not just affecting. OK, now I'm getting a break. Oh, wow. From Sean oh, and probably the Jiminy puppy. Christ. The puppy is like a right. He's sweet, but it's like having Donald Trump president. And then it's, he's still there after the presidency. Just God knows wrecking what I don't. At, okay. least, at least he's not sending you news updates. I mean, do we even need to do a commercial for the step store? I mean, the shirts are flying off the right. Look at this. Look at it. Hey, look at that. Get your face up. <laughs> look, look. look. We have, and we have them for Team Pfizer, Team J&J. We are all Team Vaccine here. We have amazing. That's right. And you can get it on everything. Right, Chris? Not just shirts. Bath mats, shower curtains. You can get it on art, a clock. You can get Duvet. a sexy bomb on a clock. We have Stephanie Miller swag. We have sexy liberal swag. And, of course, all the, the vaccine shirts. Get it now. StephanieMiller.com. Wee!